Welcome back to the classroom. Teachers Game 2 here bringing you another video on Pokemon Duel. And today I'm going to do something a little different. I haven't done this before, but I'm going to voice over a game that I played just the other day. So let's hop right into it and kind of see what's going on here. So, as you can see here, that we are playing against a Deoxys deck. Um, yesterday I played. I'm trying to get my league ranking up, so I figured, hey, let's play some league. Um, I played two Deoxys decks in a row. Um, I was a little worried at first, after the first one, but I kind of figured out what to do against a Deoxys deck. So I wanted to show you guys kind of what was going to go on. Um, I won both games, so depending on what they do, he sent out speed for him right off the bat. Um, kind of made me a little nervous, but... Coco is an awesome counter to speed form. Um, if they do Cosmo and they send out attack form, then you actually have to set up your board and kind of see what's going on. So right now, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, he's trying to plan his next move. I believe he sends out attack form, which he does. Um, he starts to play defensive, which I, I think is a little weird, especially with the Deoxys deck. So I force him to bring out some type of counter to Mew because I know Mew is an awesome counter for Deoxys attack form. And that's pretty much all he has. Um, so as we're going through this, I kind of want to explain what I'm thinking. So each, both times I played the Deoxys deck last yesterday, um, I let Deoxys made the first move. Um, especially with like Mew right here, I'm, I'm double checking my plates, double checking their plates, trying to figure out what I have. Um, so far my biggest counters for Deoxys, especially attack form, and is Mew and Rubber Chicken or Combuskin. Um, he plays Deoxys attack form against Combuskin, I love that matchup. Um, I'm more worried about his Zapdos coming down the lane than anything, so he triggers Cosmo energy. Um, still not too worried. Uh, so I kind of retreat with Verizian and make sure Zapdos has a nice little matchup against Terrakian so I can change his, his Roost to a miss. So I feel pretty good on that one. There's the Cosmo. Um, but yeah, my whole theory and why I'm not really too concerned to go against Deoxys in ranked play is I let them attack into me. I let them attack into Mew, attack into Combuskin. Um, normally I get favorable matchups, especially with Mew. Mew is a Deoxys killer. So uh, just X attacked, killed off his Mew. He has two Pokemon in the PC feeling rather confident right now um totally forgot about this so he i'm i'm really surprised he attacked that was a horrible horrible misplay on his part um i'll probably move mew over to the corner which is exactly what i do and then he's on the defensive so uh this pretty much happened in the last match also he should have attacked there i believe um I'm forcing him to get Zapdos on his goal instead of a Deoxys, and then I just move right back. But allowing them to attack, um, hoping for the dimensional slip, if not, especially if they attack Mew, getting that hypersonic and not dying. Um, my hypersonic is rather large, so it, it works out in my favor. So, um, Again, I'm kind of just letting him do his thing, making sure I got my entry points covered. Making sure I got my entry points covered. Um, and then allowing him to make the moves. So, um, I've again, I've never really been too concerned against Deoxys. I mean, I know a lot of us, especially uh, kind of newer players or I don't want to even say newer players but um, high league players get a little nervous when they play Deoxys after yesterday I really I didn't I didn't feel too nervous so it was, it was kind of nice 
Um, I'm hoping for the neutral turn here. He rolls dimensional slip, which is awesome. Um, so he's going to roll again. Hopefully he doesn't roll anything good. Dodge. That easily allows me to knock out Mew. Or knock out... Oh, sorry. I didn't even move Mew. I uh, used the Coco. So um, I would, ex would have expected him to attack with... Uh, attack for him, but he did not. I advanced my rubber chicken. Um, and I kind of just let him figure out what he's going to do. So from here, he attacks in, into attack form. Or he attacks attack form into Coco. It doesn't happen. I start setting up kind of what else I want to do. Um, if he moves over and surrounds me, I cover his entry point with Combuskin, and again, I like that matchup, so that's exactly what he does. So I move over. He won't want to attack me with defense form, because that would just be a bad play, because my uh, cyclone kick. So he moves over, attacks me with attack form. I roll cyclone kick, he rolls dodge. He doesn't want to force me to do anything, because that's just a bad play. I start to advance with La Luna. Luna Law, sorry, and pretty much putting pressure on his on his uh, goal. So I'm putting pressure on this round. I can surround attack form. He has to do something. So he moves over. Um, again, I'm not attacking. I'm not doing anything, um, but I am keeping pressure. So making sure I have both entry points backed up with Terrakion on the right side and now Coco on the left side. Um, he's just in a really, really bad position. So this is what I've done with both matches. Um, yesterday I kind of let them do their own thing. See, I get the, the even matchup, um, letting him roll dimensional slip, kill off his defense form. Now it's what? Six to two. Um, at this point he has to attack Lunala and... I believe he does. I don't think he attacks with Zapdos. Um, definitely should have used Zapdos in other situations. So, um, continuing to get the favorable matchups, um, getting this round, and then getting the win. So, I believe he forfeits because he's a sore loser. So, not bad. Um, so I just wanted to bring this to your guys' spotlight, um, showing you that you can beat Deoxys decks. Um, it's not that hard. Just keep your composure. It's a little weird watching me actually play well, because I never play well. So uh, I just wanted to do this quick little video. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, consider hitting that like button. Um, if you're interested in more mobile video games, consider hitting that red subscribe button um that's gonna be all for today i hope you guys have an awesome day and i hope to catch you in the next video thanks